basically I'll know June 30th, either they take it or they don't. So that's all I can really tell you. I, I can't, you know, obviously there's a lot that's going to happen this summer with free agency, so with this team and with all their players, and there's not a ton of guys left on the roster, really. So I think that, uh, the different decisions they have to make, you know, with the, with the big name players is uh, what's going to probably be the deciding factor, but after that, I'm just not sure. Are you fully wanting to play next season? I yeah, I definitely want to play next season. I would love to play for the Blazers. It was a, a great season. Felt like I was able to just play and, and do my thing for the most part. Um, and I just told Terry, the meeting, it's the first coach that I haven't hated when the season was over since Mike Dunleavy. <laughs> it's been a while since I haven't hated somebody. <laughs> just so you know. Hey, Chris, what, what is your takeaway from this season from, I guess, the playoffs? Um, I thought I thought we were just down. I mean, we, we just didn't have the guys that we thought we were going to have going into the season. And then when we made the trade, you know, I thought we had a great thing with having Aaron come off the bench. And, you know, and the the good thing to come out of all of it was allowing CJ to have those opportunities to come out and show and get confidence and show what he's capable of. Um, but I just thought we were shorthanded. We have a couple asterisks by by our you know our name this year with the conference championship with uh, the Thunder situation and then you know not having Rolo, not having Wes, not having Aaron, not having LA for some games and it's just it was tough, you know, compared to the season last year where everybody was pretty healthy. And, I know uh, this isn't your first rodeo, but <laughs> is it strange? it's close to my last actually. <laughs> but you just mentioned it, there's not a lot of guys guaranteed coming back. Yeah. What's that like to leave? But I think the culture here is is something to to look at in, in a sense of guys like it here. Guys like what they have going and, and like what we did this year. And I think guys want to be a part. It's very rare you can have a team that's in the West for starters to have 50 wins. That's a tough accomplishment. You know, I've been playing this my 12th season and I've been in the playoffs one, one other time. We had 47 wins. It's just tough in the West. And, and to have something like that is pretty special. And half of the season we didn't have Wes, you know, and, and if we have Wes and he's healthy and I think that series is a different series. What are you doing uh, this offseason? Where do you want to go? That's, um, that's private information, Jabari. You would be the one to ask that, though. I do I'm I do like that here. about you. I'm not staying here. I, I, I'm actually, I, li I live in Michigan in the offseason, so I got to uh, I got to get home and take care of my house. And, uh, I live on a lake, so I got to get on my boat and relax a little bit. Do you plan on working out with Myers again this summer? Yeah, Myers is actually going to come to Michigan uh, later in the summer. We're going to we're going to go at it again, and I'm hoping. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm on the decline, on the down slope. You know, in my career, as far as I'm not as young as, as Myers is, and I, I think I really the best I can I can help Myers improve again. I think Myers is, has so much potential, and you saw what he did towards the end of the season and the middle of the season. He really stepped it up, and so I thought Myers did a great job, and I'm. I'm looking forward to having any, any help I can give him, any opportunities I can help him with. I'm, I'm excited about it. I think he can be a, a great player for this organization. How are you Part feeling physically? Yeah, How are you feeling question, physically? Chris. How are you feeling physically, Chris? Was that your question, too? <laughs> well, can we do one more after that so he gets no, his turn? just one more. Actually, let's just let Mike do it. Jay doesn't I feel good. Is <laughs> <laughs> part Thank of the way you. you assess like, your season individually is how you're able to help Myers and other guys like that? Is that sort of, do you um, take that No, I thought, I thought I knew that was my part of my role coming in here. Um, uh, I feel, I feel like Myers did a great job this year. I feel like he stepped it up. I, people were giving him a hard time the year before. Really, wasn't what people thought he was going to be, and all that kind of talk. But I thought Myers just needs some time. The guy's barely played basketball. You know, he's he's young. He's 23 years old. He just turned 23 this year. And I think Myers has a super super amount of potential. You know, if he can keep his head in the game and, and improve on being a little more physical and, and getting things done and. He's so passive right now. You guys, you see some of the opportunities he gets, and he'll just, he won't shoot it or he won't drive. And he just waits, you know, and eventually he's going to figure out what to do there. And he's going to be a tough guard for a lot of people.